All right, so check this out. This is what I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. These are my championship baby back ribs. These are fall off the bone. Look at that, can you see that? Totally soft, juicy, flavorful. Oh my God, look at these ribs. All right, you are gonna learn how to make this today. All right, so we're gonna use my Cuisinart electric pressure cooker. You can use a regular pressure cooker on the stovetop. Okay, and we're gonna use the oven. Now for the ingredients, we have a full rack of baby back pork ribs. We have some pickling spice. This is McCormick pickling spice. Okay, we have uh, some salt and some liquid smoke. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kinda coil up the rack of ribs just like this. And I'm gonna insert it into the pressure cooker. Then we're gonna add some of this pickling spice. Okay, so two tablespoons, tablespoon of salt. Okay, so let's do two tablespoons of liquid smoke. And now we're gonna add some water. Okay, and just enough water to cover the ribs about three quarters of the way up because all the moisture in the ribs is gonna come out and that's gonna add to the water in the pressure cooker. When we pressure cook these ribs, we're doing three things. One, we're gonna put all that flavor that's in the brine and we're gonna force it into the meat. Two, we're taking some of that fat and we're rendering it out. And three, this is gonna make the ribs fall off the bone tender in just about 23 minutes. Okay, so we put the lid on this and we set it on high pressure, 23 minutes. Start, that's it. Now, if you wanna watch my other video on how to make barbecue sauce, I would recommend that because that's the recipe that we're using for this when it comes out of the pressure cooker. All right, so the pressure cooker is done. I'm gonna get these ribs out. Okay, so I'm gonna get them out here with a fork and a pair of tongs. There we go. Okay. Now some of this pickling spice, which is like pieces of bay leaves and cloves, uh, things like that, whole peppercorns, you wanna just very gently get those off. Okay, now you want to slather this with some barbecue sauce and we'll get it in the oven. Okay, so here's that nice barbecue sauce that I made in that other video. Okay, it's got sugar in it so it's going to caramelize nicely. Again, you don't want to use high fructose corn syrup, it just won't caramelize. Okay, so plenty of barbecue sauce on top. And we just want this to crust over in the oven. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the oven just until that barbecue sauce caramelizes. And there you have it, fresh out of the oven. It only took 20 minutes at 450 and we have a beautiful caramelized rack of smoky, soft, fall off the bone, flavorful, delicious baby back ribs. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and check out foodchaintv.com for more videos.